Yes. Harry Harrison is a guest we have through Fox News and is a specialist on all of this, and he can explain. What is free-range parenting, <laughs> Harry? Hello, gentlemen. Well, free-range parenting is to, there's a law passed in Utah. If someone came to their census, uh, basically. Apparently, a parent could be reported to CPS, possibly arrested, uh, charged with some de- child riding a bike to school. Without the parent being right there. Oh, really? Or if they let their kid go to a park without a parent being right there. Or if they let them go stand in front of the house. <laughs> so you're, you're talking about uh, th- th- this is, uh, these are laws where people can see uh, assume neglect, right? Right. Assume neglect. So a, a neighbor could see your child uh, walking home from school and go, my gosh. Parents are neglectful. Okay. Pick up the phone and call CPS. What, uh, what, so what does. Says, okay. So this law says uh, if there is no evidence of neglect or abuse or anything, everything's fine, which, of course, it's fine. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's, so you know, um, so a kid is left in the car when the mother goes in the grocery store. Um, now, we've had stories like this where a child has died or something because yeah, of uh, heat exhaustion. But, you know, if the kid is 12 years old, sitting in the car, listening to the radio, they could uh, on turn glass. on the air conditioning. Yeah. They, have, they know enough to lock the door. Is Could that <coughs> kid be considered, could the parent be considered in violation of this free-range parenting? Uh, in some, I would imagine some instances, you know, but somehow in all this common sense, no longer matters. Well, I guess you're, you're so, right, because what would, I mean, what would constitute, aren't there already laws of child endangerment? If you leave a kid out in a, in a hot car, well, you're endangering the welfare right, of the child. Hour. Boom, you, yeah. could be, uh, you, right. could, you could be arrested for that. Your kids could be taken away. But if you let your kid right. walk home and from right school, police. yeah. But, uh, but, now, we just had a situation here where there was a baby found out in the middle of the street <clears throat> in our city. And the baby was just kind of crawling there, and people found the baby. We don't know what really happened in that story. Yeah. Now, um, that would be a violation. That is endangering the welfare. Would you agree with that? Sure. Yeah. So, but, so let's separate teaching your child independence from just neglect. Okay, right. You know, so so just, just neglect. So teaching your child independence is one thing that yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, all parents should be doing. Yeah. We should be teaching our children not to depend on us. But uh, to learn to depend upon their own brain. Yeah, own yeah, you're so, probably right. Yeah. Uh, wow. And that's what we're not doing right now. We're teaching our kids to be, you know, we're, we're making the world totally risk averse. For right. Kids. But the world is not risk averse. So they're going to get out sometime. Yeah. And if they don't know how to, if they don't know how to struggle, if they don't know how to overcome, if they don't know how to how to face problems. Without mom and dad, sure. Then they're going to have a very unhappy life. What age is okay so, to what, that, what What age is okay to let them walk home from school by themselves? <laughs> Two. I think eight or nine. Eight or nine. All right. Well, that, that makes sense. So, yeah. so you're saying, yeah. well, if they know the way home. A lot of it depends on the, the community, the community, community and the scenario. Yeah. But but and are they walking home with somebody, or are they on their own, or but uh, but right? But are you're saying right now, a it, ghetto? Or are they walking through a nice neighborhood? Are they walking five miles? Or right. Quarter of a mile. You know when I was yeah, uh, when I was when I was when I was a kid. Um, I was a junior in high school, and I take I'd taken my first job uh, at McDonald's, and I didn't have a ride home, and I walked, I walked from Herkimer all the way through Mohawk up Vickerman Hill Route 28, and I walked home. Two days I did that, and I really <laughs> sent a great guilt trip to my parents. After that, I got a car. Um, I had to buy it, but I, but, right, it was a little there was a little guilt trip going on there. But you're saying that an eight year old walks home. Under a under the law currently, the parents could be arrested for that. Right. For okay. Life. And now, no, and what you're, this law, no, th- this new uh, this new bill being proposed would actually put the power to the parents to actually be able to make the decision whether or not their kid is mature enough to be able to to handle a certain task. Right. Okay. All right. Right. Exactly. And if exactly. and if and there's something that they do that is irresponsible. Um, clearly, they still could be charged with child endangerment, but it would be at the discretion of a judge or maybe CPS or whatever. Exactly. I mean, we need to separate child endangerment, okay, fair enough. child endangerment, from from teaching your child independence. 
All right. Hey, how about um, they tackle that law, that, that tougher that, that law that I think? Law. What's the tougher in, law? In Utah, that drinking law. You, uh, you can't get a mixed drink at a high table or a low table. The beer here only at the small table. The, and then Is it, that in Utah, really? Yeah, Salt Lake. I went uh. there for a wedding. I, I, I couldn't get a drink. I wasn't seated at the right place. The bar Ooh, closed yeah. at like 10. Yeah, You've got to sit at that world. table over there for that. Yeah. That's so weird. That <laughs> is nutty. Yeah. But you have several Sorry, wives. No, you several wives. Right. right. That yeah. all can't drink because you don't know what table all you're right. sitting at. <laughs> Harry, thank you. We appreciate your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You have a wonderful day. <laughs>